So a question was asked, how do we change a default legend color in an Excel pivot chart? If you've never done it before, it's not exactly obvious. And so I'm going to walk you guys through it today, the quick and easy way to do this. As you can see here, we have the pivot chart from our edX course. It automatically assigns colors, and there's no real criteria as to why it does it other than the standard formatting that Excel provides. The problem is, in this case, we actually have a color in our legend that each of these bars refers to. In this case, you can see the black pants have a very high sum of sales price, but it's represented by blue. This would be problematic. So how do we fix this? So easy, easy three steps. The first thing we need to do is to select the color inside the legend. When you first click in there, with your left click, a lot of times it'll actually highlight the whole legend box. So what we actually want to do is get down to the individual part of the legend. In this case, we have black selected. Once you have that highlighted, you can right click and you can work your way up to this little fill icon. Once you do that, you can select a generic uh, color here. You can go to more colors and you can pick some advanced features. It's up to you what you want to do. In this case, it's black, so we just we'll select black. Now the orange here for blue is definitely not good. So we can go up in there and we can hit fill. And we can use one of these standard colors, but we might actually want a different color blue. So go to the more fill colors. You have two choices, standard, which gives you this gradient structure here. And you can pick what color you want. If you want something that's really vibrant, you can pick that. And it'll show you the preview color here. You can also go to custom. If you don't quite find the color you're looking for, then you can kind of click through and it keep changing this uh, output down here until you get what you want. Now I like the standard. I'll just select that for now. And well, let's look at the output. If that's hard on your eyes, going from the black to that stark blue, then we want to reconsider our choice. So in this case, I'll probably pick something a little more subtle. There we go. That looks decent. The black is a little stark against it, but generally speaking, you don't want it to, to have a lot of color variance. And you just go through the process and do the same thing for each color. Then you pick a green. We'll update the gray. Now, multicolor could be a problem for you guys. This is where you actually might want to go into a texture or a picture, one of these. It's something you got to decide on your own to figure out what you want to do for the multicolor. Last but not least, we have yellow. So multicolor, we still need to fix that one. I haven't decided what we should do for that. But since it's, we need a color that's not currently represented, we actually pull out what's in the oddball color there, so we know it's multicolor. And there you go. Now you've custom color coded your legend and your bars. I hope this helps.